learning is one of the best things you can possibly do for your brain. The, the day we stop learning is the day we start dying. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey 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 Mark. Hey, what's up? What is going on? Welcome to another episode of Hey Mark, the podcast where I, Mark, get to have open and authentic conversations about things like mental health and self development and just navigating through this tough, tough world. I, uh, I started this podcast because I wanted to kind of be a voice to the people that are out there suffering in silence, the people that kind of don't know who to talk to about what they're going through, how to start talking about it, or really just kind of put the words to what they're feeling. So that's why I started this podcast, and I hope that that gets achieved. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I throw my social media in every single one of the descriptions, show notes, etc. But if you're watching the YouTube version of this, it will be at the bottom of the screen here, at Mark D. Henriksen. And if you listen to the podcast version of this, it'll be in the show notes, like I said. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to reach out to me. I love answering questions that I get online on this podcast and also in the DMs on Instagram. That's where it all goes down in the DMs. So let's jump into what it is I actually wanted to talk about today. And this is going to be a pretty short episode. Like I said with the last one, I was actually going to script this one so that I wasn't all over the place and scatterbrained, but I didn't. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to try and navigate my way around this idea and you're going to try and navigate your way around listening to what I'm trying to say. So let me jump into what it is I actually wanted to talk about today, which is, you know, when you reach a point in your life where you just kind of feel like everything's mundane, everything is kind of boring, everything's kind of rhythmic, or you're stuck in the same old routine. You know, one of those points in your life where you feel like you've just been doing the same old stuff all the time and you start to think, why the fuck am I doing this? You're maybe just kind of making the same amount of money or facing the same challenges or, or situations in your life all the time and it just kind of seems boring and pointless. And so one thing I wanted to kind of give you guys a little nugget of information or perspective. I hope this really does help you out because this is something that I've been thinking about a lot recently. But when you kind of get to a point in your life when you're just really bored and you don't really, you know, see the point in doing anything, I think the best thing that you can possibly do for yourself is either become a student or become a teacher. And I'm not talking about like in a stereotypical traditional classroom type of bullshit. What I am talking about is something that can actually start to A, break your ego and B, start to teach you new things about yourself and the world around you. So let's go into each one of these things right now and we'll kind of talk about the benefits even though I think a lot of them overlap. So first off, becoming a student. Learning is one of the best things you can possibly do for your brain. The, the day we stop learning is the day we start dying, in my personal opinion. And so becoming a student can be literally anything. It can be picking up a brand new book, trying to learn a new language, maybe picking up a new trade or a new hobby. You know, being a student can be anything as, you know, small as you know, like I said, picking up a new hobby, trying to learn some guitar or trying to learn a new instrument, maybe learning a new language, but it could also be maybe something like, you know, starting a new sport, joining a martial art or just doing something that you've never done before. Literally just getting out of your comfort zone and becoming a student. This is going to be beneficial for you in multiple ways. A, it's going to remind you that the world varies a lot more than you think and a lot more than you remember or a lot more than you realize if you are going through, you know, the same schedule all the time and it does get monotonous. You know, learning and facing new challenges all the time and understanding that a new challenge isn't a roadblock, but it's maybe a detour or a new road to get to where you want to go. Facing new challenges, facing new adversities and, you know, Learning new things is going to help you build confidence. It's going to help you make your life more exciting. And like I said, you're going to be learning new skills and new tricks along the way. And so you're going to kind of, like I said, you're going to gain more self-confidence and you're going to gain more abilities. And so I don't think that anyone could argue with the fact that becoming a student is going to be good for not just your you know, self-worth, but for your mental health as well. Solving new problems creates new neurological pathways in your brain and you can start to apply these patterns of problem solving into other aspects of your life. 
So that's kind of like another added benefit. The other cool thing about becoming a student is, you know, a lot of the times when we start new things, maybe it's, you know, you pick up a guitar and you want to start to learn a new instrument. A lot of the times we look at, you know, the solos of Eddie Van Halen or some of the other rock stars that maybe you idolize or want to want to play songs of or whatever it could be. And you start to listen to your favorite Jimi Hendrix track and you think, fuck, this is going to be impossible to learn how to play. And then you learn some more simple things. Everybody learns the Hey There Delilah and everybody learns the Wonderwall real quick. But you start to learn new chords and new stuff and then maybe you learn your new your first new solo. And you start to understand that by learning new things, you can fucking learn new things. And it, you know, it seems so simple and it seems kind of like a joke when I say it out loud. But what I am trying to say is this teaches us that the things that we thought were impossible before are actually achievable if we take a crack at them, you know, one day at a time, one step at a time, and maybe in the essence of guitar, one chord at a time, right? So... The idea that I'm trying to get across is the more you learn, the more you understand it's possible to learn and to continue to grow no matter how old you are or what your beginning fucking state was, where you started or where you were fucking born or what you look like or what labels people put on you, the more of a student that you are and the more things that you start to achieve and start to learn, the more it teaches you subconsciously that you can continue to grow and continue to learn. Now. The flip side to all of this is becoming a teacher. Maybe you're a little bit later in your years, and I'm not trying to talk about age. I'm trying to talk about experience in doing something. Perhaps you've been, you know, playing guitar your entire life, and you're looking for something to change it up. You want to just kind of, you know, break out of your normal schedule, your nine to five, whatever the fuck you do. But you are an expert at something already. I still recommend maybe being a student just because it is a lot more humbling, but I also recommend if you do, you know, have a a skill that you're extremely proficient in or a talent that you have that you could try and teach to other people, I recommend becoming a teacher as well. This can kind of help you out and be beneficial in multiple ways. First of all, if you've ever tried to be a coach or a leader or a teacher or a mentor or trying to teach somebody how to do something, it can be very frustrating and it can start to maybe show you some of the gaps or the holes in your own game. Maybe you're just naturally talented at certain aspects of you know your, your craft, your hobby, your skill, and you never really had to learn certain aspects. Maybe, you know, one thing I'll admit is, you know, I never actually learned how to play an F chord on guitar. I don't know why that's you know, relevant to this conversation, but I never learned how to play an F chord on a guitar. But anyways, maybe you're a teacher and you're naturally talented at something that, you know, is an aspect of what you're good at. And you're trying to teach someone that is just starting off at this. And you never really had to learn the hard way because you were naturally talented at something. So it forces you to kind of learn how someone else could learn the skills that you're already good at. This makes you kind of approach problems differently or situations completely differently such that you're able to actually teach someone who isn't naturally talented at that thing. The other thing as well is it it forces you to go back to basics and remember the fundamentals, the things that helped you learn to be as good as you are right now. And I think that, you know, above all else, I think it's a lot easier to become good at something than it is to become good at something and then become good at teaching that something as well. So I think that this is a skill that we all struggle with. You know, I've seen this in the trades where I work in construction all the time and there's people that are very talented at what they do and extremely skilled tradesmen, but they lack the ability to be able to teach someone else how to do the same things that they do. And so a lot of the times, you know, especially with things like being in the trades or even being in sales, if you can do something, but you can't teach someone how to do something, you probably haven't mastered it. You've just found a a way to kind of execute in your own way, which is good if you can get results. But I think the real master of a topic or a skill or a trade or anything like that is to be able to teach it to somebody that doesn't know how to do it. You know, they say that, you don't really truly understand something if you can't break it down to simple terms enough to explain it to like maybe a five or a six year old. And so, like I said, 
If you wanted to master something, if you wanted to just change something up in your life, or if you want to just have a little bit more excitement in your life, I do recommend either becoming a student or a teacher or both if you can figure that out. So I hope this kind of entertained you. I hope this gave you a new perspective. At the very least, I hope that this kind of, I, I guess, gave you some new ideas with what to do with your life. And if it did, please do not hesitate to share the show, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or subscribe on YouTube and like that fucking shit as well. But at the very end of the day, all I ask is that you share the show and help me grow. So that's all I got for today. It's a short episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that it brought you some value. But that's it. Thank you so much for the love and the support. Go out and have a good day, a good week, a good month, and a good year for the rest of 2021. I'm signing out. Much love and peace out, motherfuckers. Let's go, baby.